All right. Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Please invite your friends and share the link with everybody you know. And don't forget, after we finish the video, to download the video and share it immediately with your friends. All my videos is free for you to use as you wish. As long you don't uh, sell it. <laughs> uh, so, peace of the Lord to all. And today we will talk about something very important. You know, uh, foolishness is a way of life and we can prove it easy i mean uh, people these days they buy things just because somebody uh, he's famous he buy it uh, somebody uh, he is important he do it you know i mean we don't uh, we, you know many of people don't do things because it's really convincing as much as just because somebody he did it before them and he is maybe um you know a person we should listen to because he's famous, he's an actor, he's an artist, he's an etc. Now, Islam came and uh, uh, through generations, but nobody knows in the beginning of Islam why people even rejected Islam. Why people, they were, you know, disgusted because of Islam. And why people, they will not accept Islam unless the sword came in their neck. You know, the Quran says that when the victory of Allah came, what kind of victory are we talking about? Is that because of preaching? No, victory of the sword. When victory came, suddenly people, they are entering Islam like waves. So why people did not enter Islam until the victory came as waves? The chapter of the victory, speaking about how victory have an impact of Islam. What the impact is, suddenly, People by tens of thousands entering Islam in one day. People they heard the news that Muhammad became victorious and he would go to kill them all. Convert or die. Or we will take you as a sex slave. So let us examine this Quran which we have in our hand. Look at this verse in the front of you. The verse we see in the front of us which Muhammad he says, That this is from his God. Why God he makes such a verse that when victory came by killing people, shedding blood, doing massacres, people enter Islam. Why Allah could not find a better way to make people enter Islam by love and peace and preaching and teaching. If you say to me that the God of Islam he tried, that's mean he failed. And if is if it is about uh, believing and uh, getting reward for your beliefs, so why you are forcing people to convert to this cult? You know the Muslims they say to you, there's a verse in the Quran. <clears throat> it says, "La ikraha fi din." There is no conclusion in religion. But this is a false statement. This was a verse for Muhammad he made. In the opposite direction, which means you cannot force your children not to accept Islam. It's not about the Muslims. And the Muslims, they quote this verse also, always to you because you are ignorant. You do not know what Islam is about. But all of us, we knew that Muhammad, he says it clearly, that he'd been ordered to fight and kill all mankind until they convert to Islam. And when we say all mankind, we confirm here all mankind who they are not Muslims because Muhammad will not find Muslims. So here, Muhammad, you see, and this is very authentic, according to Muslims, not according to me. Muhammad, he confirmed that he have an order from Allah to fight and kill every single human being who don't accept Allah as God and him as a prophet. Can the Muslim they say this is fake? They cannot. Can they say this is weak? They cannot. Can they say we reject it? They cannot. And I challenge any Muslim to say, I don't accept it. So when they quote for you this verse, 
in chapter 2 verse number 256 this is just to fool you and not to mention to you this is the prophet he said to the children of the the the, the, the non-muslims or to the non-muslim family saying to them you cannot force your children not to accept islam not the opposite muhammad he says the one who leave his religion kill him so how we can match this uh, if this verse speaking really about there is no uh, uh, uh you know no enforcement to anyone to accept islam then how you say i've been ordered to command it to kill all mankind until they say until they say i mean which one is one of them is not valid then so what happened truly is muhammad making a verse saying you cannot force your children not to convert to islam but i can force all mankind to convert to islam not only muhammad he said that muhammad he made it clear that he is a terrorist Muhammad, he says, I've been victorious by terror to the point people look how peaceful Muhammad is. They used to be terrified, even if Muhammad in a distance of a month. This is how much peaceful he is. Why people will be terrified if Jesus is a, a one month distance from them? Nobody will be terrified. Nobody will be terrified. But because Muhammad is a terrorist, Muhammad saying to us, my enemies, I was victorious by terror, frightening my enemies from a distance of a month. Imagine how bad his reputation as a terrorist. Now, let us go to the Quran because our topic today is about the Quran. One man story without a single witness. Who is the witness for the Quran? Nobody. Not even Muhammad. How you say not even Muhammad? Yes, not even Muhammad. Muhammad proven from Islamic source approved and authentic that Muhammad is suffering from mental issues. And be my witness, I'm not the one who's saying that. Muslims are saying that. The Arab always, when somebody he have problems in his brain, they say he was bewitched. Now, regardless if Muslims believe in bewitched or not, but they claim that Muhammad was bewitched. The second you say that Muhammad was bewitched, it's mean he was under the control of the devil because bewitched is simply a black magic, which is supposedly a devilish, satanic, evil power. So the Muslim themselves, they witness for us that Muhammad himself was under the control of the devil and he was not even aware of what he do and what he say to the point it says he used to imagine that he has done a thing in fact he did not so how we can trust Muhammad that he saw an angel his name is Jibreel the only witness we have for Islam he himself is suffering from mental issue you know what I mean we have only one witness for Quran and then we find that even this witness he don't have a, a, a credibility to be a witness if you go to a judge and you say to him well I have a witness but I have a, a, his file a medical file saying that he is a, is a person who imagined things happening but in fact they never happened <coughs> the judge he will not accept him We have a Muslim, he contacted me. Let us see if you want to talk. Let's give him a chance. Once the Prophet was bewitched, so he had begun. All right, we have a caller. Hello. Yes, my friend. Yeah, can you hear me? I do. Just don't uh, speak my name, please. No, okay. no problem. Uh, can you hear me properly? <coughs> yes, uh, we hear you. Um, I, I don't know if you know what our topic is. No, I don't know your topic. Uh, the topic I just of, came from of, the office of my and video. I was trying uh, okay. to call you from the last three, four days. All right. 
the topic of our video today Quran is one man story without a single witness what do you think about the Quran do you do Muhammad have any witnesses <coughs> actually if I tell about myself so I was brought up in a Muslim family in India <coughs> so we are very devoted Muslims like uh, I'm Saturday going for the prayer, prayer every <coughs> And uh, last one year, I was like, <clears throat> when I came to UAE, I, I am in Dubai right now. Mm, don't uh, say where are you. So, no, uh, no. Okay. so I'm doing job in Dubai. So I was very devoted kind of a Muslim. Like I was praying five times and, uh, you know, Tahajjud. Mm -hmm. Before Fajr prayer, we used to pray for the Tahajjud also. Mm -hmm. So I like, but, uh, you know, in India, what happens, we read Quran in Arabic. We don't know the translation. We don't, we never know the meaning of what is there inside. We know, we just know Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Mm. Yeah. In nice. the shape. And these kinds of things we know. But the, the teachers in the schools, they never tell the meaning of the Quran. Mm. Yeah. All right. And the Hadith things we know. This kind, of, their seal is there. We just we were, we were hearing from our grandparents, our uh, parents, and everyone that yeah, Prophet Muhammad was the person who you know if somebody hit with a stone, he used to pray for him that Allah guide him on the right way. Mm -hmm. He was very you know patient kind of person, and so we used to hear the story of he was. When you used to walk on his street, somebody, some of women was there. She used to throw the garbage of a house on her, <clears throat> on him. Mm -hmm. And he used to visit her house when she is ill. She accepted uh, Islam. This kind of a story we used to hear and grew up. So we used to imagine Prophet Muhammad was the greatest human living on uh, this earth. Mm -hmm. So... <clears throat> Last year, when we realized, let's let's this is the you know voice and words of Allah directly in the Quran. So I thought to read the things. When I when I started, so a lot of things were there like kill this, kill that, and uh, you know about women's their right things. When I like first I to ignore these things maybe i am not because i asked my friend he said no you cannot understand these things without proper tafsir mm -hmm. so I, if it is <coughs> written in quran that uh, that allah has openly uh, clearly told everything in quran then why we need tafsir right because uh, you know every other chapter uh, allah is repeating the same thing that yeah i don't uh, i am you know telling this is a book of you know and everything is clear in this book okay mm -hmm. so i have clearly mentioned everything for you and the easiest way so so i asked my friend in here that uh, you know it's clearly mentioned everything why we need tafsir so they were like no don't this is like fitna from uh, shaitan don't think about these things and this and that all so slowly I I completed the whole Quran, but this was what if you have a friendship with Christians and non-Muslims, um, you know, <clears throat> leave the Islam. Uh, you are not a Muslim. You are not true a Muslim in India. When I used to hear Zakir Nayak, he was like a hero for me. Always uh, he was like a hero. So when I used to hear about jihad, so what he used to tell that you have to fight with your nafs not with the people this is so we, we had the image uh, of jihad like this but when i read the quran it's clearly mentioned that great jihad the jihad is only in f fighting in the you know path of allah mm -hmm. give your life the greatest thing you can do so then i realized what when i used to hear tariq jamil also you know tariq jamil you heard about him no i never heard about him no yeah, he is also uh, like Maulana, he's a great scholar mm. and he, he used to tell some great stories about Prophet. But these are just stories when I, uh, you know, I just uh, started reading the Hadith and the Quran. Then I found these are just stories he used to tell from here and there, but these are not not Zaif, this thing that somebody hit, uh, hit him with a stone and he used to pray 
him and but when i read the hadith the law kill him it was like this so i started doubt or so slowly then i used to watch i i just on youtube you i watch david wood's video then again i j smith's video ali dawa and all these things then apostate prophet he used to you know verify all the things and then i i have watched your videos so a lot of things were there but still you know i i started i stopped praying and all these things because the first doubt came in my mind is if allah has created me is is allah uh, what he, as a muslim he jannah allah has created me and hindus and christians everyone correct okay so oh, so he will send me to jannah because i know that uh, how to pray and all everything and for the same thing he he know the destiny that means everything is planned right so he will throw other you know religious people to you hell for uh, eternity correct so that concept is not understand but uh, i i i want to ask one thing all right question Hello. Yes, I hear you. Go ahead. Hello. I hear Can you. you hear me? Me? Yes, I do. Yeah. So I had a question uh, because I am now I am asking everyone this question, the scholars and all this. So one of my friends that showed me that uh, you know you know about Pharaoh, Pharaoh. The Pharaoh, yeah. The dead body that was found, the mummy, mummy hmm. uh, near the Red Sea. Hmm. so it is preserved and uh, it is a, there is a ayah in quran also in the chapter 10 about firon that uh, i will preserve your body uh, you for life you know, for the people in future and his body is found so and the dr morris research is there uh, that he, whatever is mentioned in quran is true he he, he that body was drawn the uh, and uh, it is preserved so he also accepted islam mm -hmm. so now again is it true that uh, he was the firon the same firon dr mor is talking about well you know there is many uh, those muslims they quote them we don't know if really the those dr morris i don't dr morris is a doctor and suddenly he, he knows the pharaoh <laughs> i mean the muslim they use mm -hmm. this guy name for everything suddenly like dr morris became the the person who knows even what happened to the pharaoh Uh, you know, if a person mm -hmm. who is a, a doctor in, uh, uh, like, a, you know, let's say, a dentist or a doctor for body today, uh, how he became an expert for the pharaoh? I mean, this is will go back to historian. However, we can prove easy that the story of the pharaoh in the Quran is nothing but a hocus. First of all, who is the pharaoh? There's nothing. It's called pharaoh. Pharaoh is a name. Yeah, is not a name. When, of a... when when I read about them, hmm. about them, it's like pharaoh was every. Name the kings were called pharaohs in uh, Egyptian culture. Yes, the king. This is so. Who is the pharaoh? So when you say pharaoh, how we will know which pharaoh you are talking about? This is number one. Number two, uh, uh, pharaoh uh, he die in one verse, and in the other one uh, he live in another verse. So he die or he you no? Know, it says here clearly. Why the farraqna bikum al bahra fa anjina kum wa agraqna ala faraoun, chapter two, verse number fifty. So for own and his people mm -hmm. they die supposedly all right and then mm -hmm. uh, Allah he punished for own already chapter 3 verse number 11 so where in you know how this mm -hmm. is how how, how this be uh, Allah saying that he saved the pharaoh secondly the Quran says that the pharaoh he have a minister his name is Haman but Haman mm -hmm. has not even exist in Egypt you know Haman uh, this is a very okay. very clear mistake Uh, uh, as an example, when when yeah. Pharaoh he says, "Oh, oh, Haman, build for me a place, a high, a high tower." But Haman, this is a guy supposedly he is from the Babylon, and the tower we know, which was somebody, a king, want to see God, is not the Pharaoh, <laughs> you know. So, mm. uh, uh, yeah. when 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 Muhammad speak about stories in the in the in the past and the history. Uh, It's very, very funny and very stupid because uh, uh, he he misquote everything wrong. Uh, uh, <coughs> let me show you this verse. Uh, let us see. Let us go.
uh, chapter 40 verse number 36 chapter 40 verse number 36 and chapter 28 verse number 38 all right both of them speak about what in the surah chapter chapter 40 and a bit we can go to 14 36 first uh, the pharaoh 46. Here, yeah the pharaoh he order her man but Haman is not um, uh, uh, is not exist in Egypt. Haman is is in Iraq. So a Pharaoh he ordered Haman to build for him a tower. This is the tower of the Babylon. This is in Iraq, not in Egypt. Mm -hmm. So how how Muhammad he thought for a second that the Pharaoh is the one who ordered Haman to build the tower of the Babylon. And what the purpose of that? Mm -hmm. Because he want to go to to heaven, and he will see God to see the God of Musa to yeah. see if this is true or not. But this is not. Yeah. The, but this is story have nothing to do with the with the with the. <laughs> the story. Mm -hmm. This story have nothing to do uh, uh, with the uh, with the Pharaoh. This is a story have to do with the baby loan. Mm -hmm. So Muhammad obviously here he don't know who is the Pharaoh. He don't know when the Pharaohs exist. Yeah. As an example. You so even do do even Muhammad knows where uh, uh, Musa what time Musa was exist? Look what Muhammad he says. Mm -hmm. He said that Musa uh, uh, he was misleaded or uh, the the people of Musa Musa they were misleaded by the the the, the, the Pharisee. Mm -hmm. the, uh, sorry, the 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 Samari the 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 the, the Samaritan. Mm -hmm. How? How such a mistake can happen in the Quran? Muhammad yeah, is saying it clearly. Yeah, hold on. When, when no, no, just to show you, if we are talking it. about the Pharaoh, the Pharaoh have to be in the time of Moses. All right. So yeah. Then how Muhammad he says that the Samari, the Sam the Samaritan, they were exist in the time of Moses. So obviously, mm -hmm. the one who wrote the Quran is not only stupid; he is an official idiot. He don't know when the where the Pharaoh was located because the Pharaoh according to the Quran he is exist in Iraq and he built the Babylon Tower he do not know when Haman was located he do not know uh, uh, that the summary what time he was exist the summary was not in the time of Moses and Moses never met the summary what is that you talking about and here he mm -hmm. caught uh, the story of uh, the people of Moses worshiping a cow and why because of the summary and that is in the time of Moses as you see here you see so uh, so Moses we went back to his folk angry uh, uh, sad he said oh my people has not your Lord promised you etc and then uh, he speak about how the summary misled them the Samaritan so the Quran are proven yeah. that all history is quoted wrong and this is a proof that this is not from God so when they lie they fabricate a chapter or they fabricate the articles about doctor you see I will not be surprised if I mean it, the Muslim always they they use a name for somebody and they make him famous by lying about what he said as an example the Muslim they say that George Bernard Cho he says if a prophet Muhammad was exist today he can solve all the problem in the world in five minutes while drinking his coffee in the morning now where we cannot find this book where Bernard Cho he said something positive about Muhammad the fact he said the opposite so the 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 yeah. the false fabricate articles they post it and never trust a Muslim posting an article or even posting a translation for the Bible or even for the Quran. You see the translation of the Quran we have in front of us. None of it is true. Not single mm -hmm. verse in the Quran translated in English or any language is true. The only way to get the Quran correct if you speak Arabic so they cannot fool you. Or if it's translated by mm -hmm. somebody, he is not a Muslim because they always lie in the translation. So the Quran cannot mm -hmm. be from God for the same reason you say that somebody converted to Islam because he found that uh, uh, The Pharaoh was saved the fact the Pharaoh is not exist You know because Muhammad did not know where the Pharaoh located. He think he is in Iraq mm -hmm. He think the Pharaoh built that the baby loan tower he, uh, he uh, And in the same time look in different in different verse in the Quran look what Muhammad he said Muhammad he said yes. that Allah he opened a school in the baby loan to teach black magic yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how this is can be. I mean, uh, so the Babylon Tower suddenly became a school of magic, Holy Booter. <laughs> you know, Harut uh, mm -hmm. uh, Marut. 
I don't know if you heard of those two angels. Allah He sent two angels. Their name is Harut and Marut, chapter two, verse one or two. And they yeah, yeah, where they about. where there's uh, Harut and Marut, they came in the same tower, which is supposedly according to Muhammad, Pharaoh he ordered to build where in Bab in the Babylon. I mean, how in the world? And look, seen that with, with, with even with Solomon. So here you will see that he sent two uh, uh, angels in the two angels in Babel. You see Babel, huh? Which is the Babylon yes. land, the, the Tower of Babel. Yeah. Harut and Marut, even those names are coming from legions before Islam. And what those two angels they do, they teach people black magic. I mean, the whole Quran is a, is a, is a book of fiction. So, uh, you see, not a single name quoted in the Quran is quoted accurately. Not a single date, not a single history. Yeah, event. As an example, quoted, who, who quoted is Isa? Until now, we cannot find where the Isa is coming from. Uh, uh, if we ask the Muslim, the word Injil, the word Injil. How Allah he used the word Injil if Isa they say to us Isa was a prophet for the Jews, correct? Don't mm -hmm. they say that? Okay, so how the, how the book of Isa is Injil? <laughs> because Injil is a Greek word. So how the guy he was yeah. sent to the Jews, but yet his book in a Greek Because the second you call it Injil, you just say that this is a Greek book So how Allah he called a book of Isa in the wrong name he should give it a hebrew name you know then yeah you will say yeah. you will find that mary in the quran she is the sister of aaron so that's mean yeah. that's mean that yeah, mary, yeah, that that, yeah that's mean mary she was exist in the time of the pharaoh <laughs> and and yeah. jesus was born in the time of the pharaoh so it was a confusion between <laughs> maryam and mary two names yeah uh, maryam you know it's true that musa he have a sister her name is maryam uh, yeah. harun and and aaron and uh, musa's they have a sister her name is Maryam so Muhammad he thought that this is the same Maryam which is the mother of Jesus and that made Jesus is the nephew of Moses <laughs> you know mm -hmm. so uh, uh, yeah when we study the story of er, uh, of her uh, of uh, the Pharaoh we will find uh, the most messed up stories in history suddenly uh, uh, Aaron, yeah. Aaron Aaron and Moses exist in the time of of the Pharaoh but Mary is the sister of uh, of Aaron and Moses. That means Jesus was born in the time of the Pharaoh. I mean, how horrible! Yeah. How horrible Muhammad is to be a historian. Uh, uh, his God Allah is the worst historian ever. <laughs> right? So history is wrong. Names are wrong. Like uh, 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 Mary, her father is Umran. And Moses, his father is Omran. This is why he says Mary is a sister of Aaron because he thinks both of them they have the same father. It's not a you know the Muslims yeah. they say oh there's a there's a guy his name is Kabul Ahbar he got Muhammad busted, so he starts saying how the prophet saying that Mary is the sister of Aaron but there is a hundreds of years between them, so Muhammad to fix his his lie he said oh at that time they used to call them by the good names of their their ancestors this is a lie this is a big fat lie because. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, Mary is not from the tribe of Moses. Mm. You know, this is yeah. a, this is additional stupid mistake because you see, imagine uh, you are from India. I don't know from which territory. You, not, you don't need to say. I do not know much about India, but let us say uh, you are from Mumbai, and then your mm -hmm. family, all of them, they are from Mumbai. So we will call you the Mumbainian, just for the sake mm -hmm. of argument. So imagine. I call you. I say your 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 ancestor is, is uh, uh, Mr. Suzuki in Japan. I mean, they are not the same. They are two different tribes. Uh, you, you know what I mean? Yeah, that, they are not the same people. Not, yes, all of them they are Jews. Yes, they are all of them they are the Jews. Yes, all of them they are the children of uh, 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 of Abraham at the end of the day. But they are not the same. They are not from the same tribe. So how he mixed between Mary and how Mary she became the sister of Aaron? They are not even from the same people. So here you will notice this the foolishness of Muhammad again same time uh, How how the mother of how the father of uh, Mary became? Uh, Amran and the father of Moses became Amran first of all Moses father is not Amran is Umram So Muhammad even could not quote the name correctly and then he switched the name of the father of Mary just because he thought that Miriam is the real sister of Aaron and real sister of of uh, uh, of Moses, so he called Miriam uh, uh, father Omran. That's why we have a chapter in the Quran. It's called the chapter of Omran. So imagine, even Quran, 
is full even the names are mistakenly made who is Omran who is the father of Mary I mean the mm -hmm. Christians the Christian they will corrupt their Bible even the names will change them why uh, like they, they were yeah, waiting for, man, for Muhammad. The main thing is, uh, I, I heard from childhood that Christians have changed the whole Bible, the the Jews have changed the whole Torah, and everything is changed. But but the main question is always in my mind: How if Allah has ninety nine names, then He would have told her the previous messengers also. Then why the single name is not mentioned in any of the book? The main question is from my side always. None of the name of Allah is mentioned in any of. Yes. Right, but this is not only this. So, this is not only this. Uh, Allah have a stupid names. I mean, uh, you know, uh, maybe and we can until, go over. And unless you know, the problem is what what our elders, what our teachers are telling us that we are believing, and from the childhood they are you know putting everything in our heads that this is the only truth. Don't think about it. This is the truth you have. To be. And we were believing it like we. If I would have not read the Quran myself, uh, Sira, uh, all these things from myself, then I would have not known that this is a really, really, really stupid thing to believe. You see, when the, and, the, and the Quran, really, the Quran had many really verses. Disgusted what I believed my whole life till 30 years of Yeah. Uh, listen, my friend. Chapter 5, verse number 44, it says, that Allah he gave the Torah to the Jews and he entrusted the Jews in protection of the Torah I mean have you ever heard of a silly statement like this the book of God is the book of God and the only one can be trusted to protect the book is God for man is corrupt isn't it Muhammad who says every son of an Adam is a is a is a sinner how you trust the sinner to protect your book secondly yeah. Uh, how you how you say I entrusted you see the, the, the word trust mean what it's mean I believe that you are good correct yeah. if I trust you to my to give you the, the key of my house that's mean I believe in the moment I give you the keys that you are a good person correct yeah but this is mean Allah do not know yeah. the future <laughs> you see trust trust mistaken and trust can be happening for a human being like me and you I thought you are good and you turn not to be good that's 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 normal for a human to happen but God he trusted the Jews to protect the book and then then the, the Jews they screwed him and then it like oops I made a mistake I trusted you that's alone proof that Allah cannot be God secondly the Quran have tons of verses saying that Allah he confirm what is with them not the opposite mm -hmm. as an example Chapter 2, verse number 89. It says, confirm what they possess, what is with them. All right. Let me open chapter okay, two how we can confirm, eight. how we can confirm what is with them if it yeah. is not, if it's corrupt. Hmm? It says it clearly, confirming what is with them. Bima ma'ahum. The chapter 2 verse number 91 chapter 2 verse 101 hmm. confirming here the the Yusuf Ali he added what was with them that's a lie it doesn't say that in Arabic it says lima ma'ahum to what is with them change the translator translation you will find the translator change his his uh, hypocrisy this is why I say always you have you know uh, you cannot trust Islamic translation for anything Look, 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 we just changed the translator. Look what happened. Do you see what happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw confirming, saw this confirming thing. that which is they possess. In the Yusuf Ali, he says, what was with them? There's a huge difference between what was and what they possess. Yeah. So which one of them is telling the truth? This one. The, the verse in the front of me in Arabic, I challenge anyone, any Muslim who speak Arabic to say this is not the truth. Believing in what they have in their hands and actually there's a hadith yeah. where Muhammad himself he took an oath saying yeah. he, he put his hand in the Torah saying I believe in thee and the one who sent thee so the yeah, statement the Muslim they say to us what is in their hand when what was there in hand yeah actually a brief base in the uh, corruption statement the Quran speak about uh, corruption in, in which way let us see uh, yeah. uh, the Quran says 
that the Jews they change the well, if you read the interpretation you will see it says you have al kalum al mawadihi which mean they change the words of its meaning or its location if you go and read the interpretation it says it clearly that this is mean the Jews they change the words from its meaning but if we talk it in in like like in a in a uh, uh, in literate way as it is written in front of us but read with me carefully some of those who are Jews it changed the word from their context do you see it yeah okay in different translation they will say to you from its location now regardless if it's from context or location so if it changed in the location will corrupt the book that's mean the Quran is corrupt all of it because the Quran we see in the front of us is not the Quran given to Muhammad even according to Muslims they say there's a Quran according to Revelation and this is what I'm working right now in translating it the verse number one is al uh, what it says uh, uh, Muhammad he came the angel came to Muhammad and he squeezed him and he says to him Iqra right this is the first revelation so if if corruption is a change in the words from its location that means all the Quran is corrupt but here even the Quran says that the corruption we are talking about of the Jews they change the, the context of the world and Muhammad as an example there's a story in the hadith where they asked Muhammad what do you think about a man and a woman they committed adultery and there's a Jew he put his hand his finger over the word where it says stone them and this is what it's meant in this verse he was hiding the words from their context he don't want to show it they did not change the book they did not corrupt the book so the Muslims when they come with the accusation of corrupt that's a stupid and actually this is against their God because if their God is the one who sent those books and he can protect them then Allah is a false God and then here we have to ask a very important question and I advise all the Christians to remember those questions when a Muslim he says the Bible or the Torah is corrupt we need to ask a very serious question is it corrupt by Allah will or against Allah will what do you think about this is it by Allah will or against Allah will mm -hmm. what do you yeah. think yeah what God then huh what do you think what, what, is it by Allah will or against his will it will be a last will because if God wants then only thank you so if if it's, if it's Allah by Allah will so what's my problem <laughs> I mean this is a crazy it was Allah will to corrupt the Torah and the Bible and then he accused us of corrupting the Bible I mean this is madness you know what I mean this is stupid actually not only madness this is madness this is this is crazy it is your will to corrupt the Torah and the Bible and then you accuse me of corrupting the Torah and the Bible who is the stupid here is the same as the story if you remember when uh, uh, when Adam and Moses they have a debate I don't know if you saw this video of mine uh, Adam and Moses they have a debate and Moses he said to Adam Habibi uh, Adam Habibi because of you Habibi we were out of heaven Habibi so Moses uh, Adam he said to him uh, are you blaming me or a sin Allah he ordained for me which I should do 40 years before my creation I mean how you can so in Islam even the sin even the sin of Adam it was not a choice for Adam it was a destiny and you yourself yeah. mentioned it or mentioned that when you start talking to me so look what Adam he says to him do you blame me for which Allah had written in my faith 40 years before my creation so Adam is not a sinner Adam is a good guy it was Allah Allah is Allah is the mad guy he made Adam look at this one this hadith here and you will see here Muhammad is so excited he come he says Adam he confuted uh, 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 Musa the three times look what he says Adam he says to Musa do you blame me for doing a deed which Allah had decreed that I should do I should what I should do it's not a choice so our yeah. sin our sin is a sin we should do in Islam and if you commit sin it is something you should do in Islam it's not a choice for you and not only that you know you know that Muslims they get punished for adultery right yeah okay but adultery have different value for them I mean you can do adultery as long as you do it legally like muta it's fine but look at this Muhammad he says that adultery you do is a destiny Allah he decide for you before you do it be carefully with me guys and this is a sahih hadith this is a sahih hadith they cannot say it's a lie 
So it says Abu Huraira reported that Allah Messenger said Allah is SWSSS uh, who said Allah has decreed for the children of Adam a share of adultery. This is Sunan Ibn Dawood. And then he count what kind of adultery? Uh, Al Bukhari. Let's see Al Bukhari. Uh, 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 the Prophet he says Sunan Abu Dawood. Yeah. We are going to show all the reference. Okay. So, so the Muslims they can see, uh, you know. Uh, what we are talking about so yeah. everyone Allah he decreed for him what he will do and his share of adultery this is Sahih al-Bukhari as an example the Prophet who has said Allah has written for Adam's sons his share of adultery which commit you know <laughs> so it's it's not you it is not you who chose to do adultery it's a it's a fate Allah he wrote for you it is it, it yeah. is your share it's your person and it's not a choice for this you is, to accept or to... Thing. yeah so so why why you are stoning a woman for committed adultery if Allah is the one who decides before he create her said she would do adultery yeah if I everything mean, is decided then when I am why I am the why I am being punished? Why I am being judged? Why, why Adam? If Adam if if Adam he kicked out from heaven because Allah he made it as a destiny why he kicked him out from heaven yeah this is why we say this religion is a stupid cult and here we go same again question, the same question i asked my friend why why he made us to entertain the angels and himself that he will uh, you know throw us to the world and then again he will uh, put uh, us on in, in test and again he will throw us in jahannam and hell and uh, that is kind of entertainment for him so if he is going to entertain then we should also entertain in this world why why, why should care then if, if everything is written yeah you know you make me do it and then you punish me for doing what you made me do this is a, this is the yeah. logic of, of islam so my my friend so if, you you uh, i can tell you are you like you are leaving islam right did you make a decision or not yet yeah i have i have oh, the problem is we are in india and muslims so if if i leave it officially then what will happen everything will be ruined uh, my family my everything i am i'm very confused what to do and how to uh, go further with it because if i when i speak to my friends and cousin and i tell this uh, you know that these are the things and my uh, when uh, before i think three four or a week before i was talking to my cousin she she was like telling uh, about islam so i told all these things she had no answer but what told me that you are now a kafir i will talk to you and you will also you know misguide me so what I mean, you know. Let, 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 let me tell you, my friend. Let me tell you, uh, as an the example. Things happens in the. No, my my friend. Let me tell you. I, I am a but Christian. If you go to India. I am a Christian. I am a Christian. Okay, and there are some Christians yeah. they don't like what I do because uh, many Christians they are uh, they believe what I am doing is dangerous. Okay, so they stay away from me. Yeah. They don't talk to me. They don't even visit me, and they don't want to know me. But that will not stop yeah. me from doing what I'm doing. You see, there's, you know, if we do things because of a neighbor or a cousin or a family, I mean, we have why we live. I mean, that was, so I'm not going to stay in doing something I don't believe is. I do what I believe is right. I don't care what people say. And, you know, there is millions and billions of people. They don't uh, they, they share the view with you. So you don't associate with the one if they, if they want to cast you out. OK, no problem. I mean, you are not left alone in this in this earth. There is seven, eight billion a human being. You know what I mean? There's always people who yeah. think like you, they believe like you, and th th there's no problem. For me, it's the same. Me as a Christian, even can be rejected by some who claim to be Christian, and they believe that a Christian is just someone who go to this uh, to the church and just he wave his hand to Jesus, says, "I love Jesus." It's not Christianity. This is false. Jesus, he said that you say the truth. You know, the truth will set you free. Christianity is not just worshiping Jesus. Christianity is about witnessing to the truth, and the truth is a must. It's a duty for every Christian. If you don't do that, you are no Christian. You are just a false selfish so, person. So, so I have a question about Christianity. All sure. My my main concern is about you know, uh, like uh, uh, if you talk about Islam or Christianity or any other religion. So not all the religions, not the messengers, not their book, not their message, and nothing. A lot of people in India, if you go to India, the rural areas, the villages, they don't know even about Christianity. They don't know about uh, Islam from hundred of years. They are dying. They are dying. So what will happen to them? 
because there nothing is mentioned about it in Quran or Hadith. No, that what let me tell about you. them? They don't, According they to the never Bible, heard about Prophet Muhammad. Okay. If somebody never heard, never heard, you know, never been invited, never been taught about uh, Christ. According to the Bible, that this yeah. person he is still he would be judged by what God gave him. Uh, our God is God mm -hmm. of fear and justice, which means let us say you are a person who live in the middle of nowhere in Brazil jungles, all right. Mm -hmm. And this person yeah. never heard of the Bible, never heard of you know of a word, you know. So is it fair that he will go to hell? No, he will not go to hell. He might still go to hell based in what he know, which means what you know what you have i mean a human being god created him he knew like when you you when you shed the blood you know that this is ugly you feel disgusted right so inside you still god he put some wisdom about wrong and right so you are born yeah, like... with some with some uh, knowledge of what is right what's wrong but uh, uh, you don't have a book of god so now god will judge you by what you have what about somebody you know, there's people who they are born with special needs. I mean, they don't have uh, uh, enough comprehend, comprehend, you know, like to to understand things. You know what I mean, right? We don't, I don't want to call them crazy. But I mean, they, they have an illness, which is not their fault. Are they going to go to hell? No. You know what I mean? God is going to judge a human being by his knowledge. As an example, Jesus says, if you want to go to heaven, you should be the same as the little one. But the little one do not know about anything about Jesus. Imagine we go mm -hmm. to a, a kid, he is two days old, and we say to him, Jesus, <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah. so what if he die today? He will go to, he to hell or to, or to heaven? No, he will go to heaven. Again, the mm -hmm. God of Christianity judge you by your knowledge. However, in Islam, even if you are uh, a baby who is just born and die, you might go to hell. Why? Because Muhammad, as you said, he believed in uh, destiny for you are uh, uh, you, you know, your destiny is made before your birth. Have nothing to do with your sin. Look at this story in front of us. This is Sahih. Aisha, she said to Muhammad, a happiness will be for this child. You know, this child is what? It, you know, they went to a funeral. And uh, actually, let me show you more clear hadith. Here it says, read carefully. Uh, can, can you hear Can you hear me? One, one question is that it, this should uh, I think it related to both uh, Christianity and like Islam. Hmm. So if somebody died before like ten years, nine years of age, and uh, what what will happen him if that person is going to heaven because he's like ten years, he don't have any understanding of anything. So he will uh, he she will go to heaven or hell according a to person, Islam or a person Christianity. regardless of age, regardless of age. A person who do not know, he do not know, he will go and be punished or judged by what he know. Now, a person who is a child, he is innocent, for he do not know even what sin is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. The second, the the second you arrive to the point that you know what is wrong and what's what's right. The thing is, he has to he has to live in the heaven for eternity always. Like he's ten years yes, old that's now. It. That's, that's, he that's died, it. No, no, no. He will go to hell for always. I, I, so I, I am not God. He, my why he's privileged? Why I'm not privileged? I should also. Why what I'm doing in this world? I should also die. And no, no, it's not about it's not about privilege. No, no, this is this is not about privilege. This is about justice. You, as mature person who have a brain who can make decision, who get the information. It's not right to judge you the same as we judge someone. He is a child. He is not aware of what's right, what's wrong. This is not about privilege. This is about, you know. No, so, 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 and it is, is, is death and uh, uh, it is in hand of God or it is just like that? You can die anytime. It's not in the hand of God. No, our death and uh, our, our life is, is, is something, na you? no, it's something natural because we are under the rule of nature. We get sick. You know, God, he cast us out of heaven, and by by that, we face death. Death can happen in the first day of your life. It can happen a year after. Now, for sure, we believe that if God wants something to happen, it can, he can make it happen. But our life, like today, I'm a believer, and then I might uh, die now, talking to you. Is that, does that mean God killed me? No. You know, uh, we are created. We are The, the Messiah, he says, let the, let the dead bury the dead. So all of us, we are dead. Now we are dead speaking people, so it's, it's not our time yet, and the time here is not about fate. No, it's about you know our body, 
will 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 collapse either by age or by sickness or by accident or by violence or you know there's many reasons for that correct so, so that so, is all our luck not not appeal, not luck not there's nothing is called nothing is called luck i mean uh, 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 it's the nature i mean the nature we are we are subdued yeah, to, the, to the to the nature if you if you jump from a mountain you die i mean this is not the luck <laughs> you know what i mean if you mm -hmm. if you uh, if you put gas on yourself and turn, uh, put the fire on, you burn yourself. This is not luck. Uh, if you if you drive your no, car, no, I'm talking talking about the infants or the person who is not adult. He's like ten years, nine years. I'm talking about those. Anyone, anyone, my friend, anyone. Death, death. We are out of heaven. Everyone is going to die, but in different way. Maybe, maybe the majority they die normally. But some people get killed. Some people they get sick. Some people get blah 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 blah. Some people even die, but they don't know why they die. I mean, they think they are healthy, but in fact, maybe mm -hmm. they have heart attack, which means they are sick. So, death is not God killing you. Death is something you are born with. You are limited in this life. You have, you have, you have, you have a, the only destiny we can say in Christianity that you are born to die. This is the only destiny. But he don't involve in your okay. life. You choose. What you do during this life you live, and he don't touch it. Same time, uh, God will judge you, <laughs> not because you die That's yesterday or you, or you die tomorrow. Yeah, God yeah. will judge you based yeah, based thinking. in what you know and what you did. So, if I'm a crazy person and I'm, I am 40 years old, crazy, and I hold a knife and I hit you with it, it's still God will not judge me for being a criminal because I'm crazy. That's not fair, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So Christianity does not speak of faith as Muslim. They speak the, the, our faith, like you know, the Bible speak about uh, uh, God. He choose mm -hmm. his the, the one who follow him. Yeah, he choose them because he said that I know my sheep and my sheep they know me. So we know him, and he said from their fruit you shall know them. So and he said not everyone says to me Lord Lord will enter the kingdom of my Father, but the one who do his will. So it is your will have to match his will. It's not his will only as in Islam, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So God, he has a will, and he has a will. If your will match the will of God, then you are saved. If you don't, okay. this is your choice, it's up to you. It's like, you know, somebody come to your house and he says, there is a fire is going to happen in your house. Come with me, I want to save you. He said, I don't want to leave, get out from here. And then fire came, this is your responsibility. But look with me. So now, 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 now if I read the Bible and I, I accept, all the good deeds like help uh, your enemies and help or serve the humanity i do everything but i don't follow you know the religious kind of thing going to the church and things so what will happen to how how, how, how i would my friends the, the bible says it clearly that uh, 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 the only way to be to be saved not only uh, uh, to practice rituals or to practice uh, certain behave uh, uh, it have to accept the Messiah because simply uh, claiming that I you know I'm going to be a good person and yet I don't want to accept uh, the Messiah this is what the Bible teach I'm just being honest with you if you don't accept the Messiah mm -hmm. and you are a person uh, who uh, said okay I'm going to love my enemy okay oh, this is the teaching of Jesus so now I'm practicing the teaching of Jesus but I don't want to believe in Jesus it's kind of weird mm -hmm. right so the Savior is one the Savior is one and the Savior is this the Savior he will save you because you knock at his door not just because you are a person who said I'm going to be a good person all right so mm -hmm. let us say mm -hmm. uh, uh, I gave you an example of the fire firefighters you know it is a firefighter number all right and there's a guy he have nothing mm -hmm. to do with firefighting so you call the wrong number it's your choice you said okay I'm not I'm going to take care I'm not going to start fire in my house I will be careful and then time come and you needed that person and you call the person which is not the firefighter then you are calling the wrong person this is exactly what Christianity is about you are required if you really believe if you want to join the house of God you have to believe in the house of God otherwise you are seeking you are not seeking his house so why he will save you you know what I mean it's like we have yeah, a ship, yeah. you know, you know the story of uh, like uh, uh, the flood of Noah. So, hey guys, join, join me, uh, God will uh, flood the earth and nobody want to join him. Okay, so why I want to save you? I told you, mm -hmm. come in my uh, come in my boat, you don't want. So, in Christianity, God is about justice, yes, 
but it's a justice too that in order to for him to save you is to believe in him otherwise why you want to save somebody he don't believe in him mm -hmm. as simple as that so he give you freedom to choose but in the same time still the freedom is you know is is, is based in a choice and the choice is uh, either with me or without me if you can survive without him how good for you no definitely i'm not sorry I'm even God somewhere and I wanted I want to believe something but just I have to cross check myself I will, I will definitely I have read the Quran and Hadith now I will, I will definitely to read the Bible also then I will All right. sure what to well do. you know if you uh, for me I, I I would be happy to invite you to accept the Messiah right now it's up to you but uh, trust me you know the Messiah uh, go and read the Quran and read the Bible you saw to find the Quran is the most silly stupid statements Stupid stories. It's a, it's, yeah, a, it's a rap songs have no meaning actually. Yeah, most of that, it. That, that I left for a long time, and now uh, now as my free will is there, so I will. Def I'm definitely going to you know buy a Bible and going to read it, and definitely I will you decide. Can, you can read it. You can read it online. Definitely I will come back to you yeah. because this is the biggest doubt in my mind that what will happen to my infants who die. I don't know and the person who is living in the village never heard about Christianity and anything what will happen this is the biggest question is and now it is clear it is very clear and, and I'm, I'm very excited and, and very happy you know that somebody answered it All right, because right. if I ask if I ask this question to Muslim or my friend and uh, no they have very stupid answer they have like brainwashing kind of thing and if you hear Zakir Nayak this question started arriving in my mind when I hear her Zakir Nayak. She was, you know, giving lecture in Oxford to the people of Oxford University. And uh, he was quoting the verses and, and was opening the verses that time and he was lying. Like that time, I, my you God, he's lying. Zakir Nayak, and not only he lie, he's ignorant. You do not know even his book. <laughs> I noticed that this guy is an idiot. But, you know, uh, uh, the Muslims... As long as you are if somebody is there, if somebody is here, you listen to his verses, whatever he is telling about the and the verses and read it. He will def manipulate the verses and uh, speak whatever he wants to. He will take the smart part of the verse and elaborate according to himself. Yeah. So when I found it, I was like, he just, you know, is with the Muslims and go to India. India, 99.9% .9 of Indians, they don't understand the Quran they have to the read the Quran with meaning they about the Adi, they never know about the Sira they just follow what they heard from their you know grandparents, My parents, friend, even that. even the Arab the, uh, even the Arab trust me even the Arab don't understand the Quran so why are you expecting a, a guy from India to, to understand the Quran <laughs> in India, India we have a population of more than 200 million you know yeah but still i mean the arab themselves don't understand you know arabic is my first language and the first time i was reading the quran i was saying what the heck what is this i mean what 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 he mean here what is that so it is the most stupid and, language and, and, it's it is, it is the, mo it is family, the most my, stupid language. my relatives they are like they are they fond of islam that uh, they have stopped newspaper in their house that if the girls in their house read the newspaper they will you know they, they will be spoiled so they don't even bring newspapers they even do, uh, don't let the girls talk loudly so that their voice will go outside and this is not good in Islam. This kind of thing happens and the girls also accepted if you speak against them, this is not good. Uh, no, if you tell her, the girls also that this is, you know, this is interested with you. But they will not believe this is Islam. We have to go to Jannah and, and Islam is all about Jannah and uh, hell. That, and the hell. They will uh, Know, greed about hoops and uh, all this and uh, the hellfire and all this is all about Islam. Okay. The people in India and Pakistan they are following they, they scared of the hell they love to go to Jannah they are doing all the things but they never read the Quran they never read the Hadith if you have to out of the community or the society or they are you know going to a Whatever. Okay. So this is the thing. I know. I don't know. Well, I will be happy to uh, to hear from you again. You know, uh, go and read the Bible. If you have a question, feel free to contact me. 
and I would be happy to talk yeah, to sure, you again. Sure, and, sure. Uh, uh, because um, I found the only person who can answer all my questions. That's why I was, because I never contacted anyone. I tried to research all the things myself and uh, the things myself because my friend used to talk called you know no man ali and that um, that tarik jamil and will find the answer and if i can read and i'm a literate person if i can then why would i go to them yeah all right my friend thank you very much for calling and i hope to hear from you soon and i will be happy to hear thank that you accept the christ thank as you. Right. It's a savior. pleasure talking to you take take care bye bye thank you and maybe i'll i'll, I'll call you back soon sure about clarity some questions take care Take care. So, God bless. Thank you very we will much. We'll pray. We'll pray for you, my friend. We will pray for you. Take care. Thank you. All right. Well, let us pray that this gentleman he will accept Christ and he will see the truth, and the truth will set him free. Already, he left Islam. That's wonderful. Now, there's a person he's asking. Okay, I accepted the Messiah, but I did not get baptized. Am I saved? Uh, my friend, the Bible says that you should do baptism. What is baptism? Simply, uh, 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 you know, it's not just a ritual. I mean, Christianity is not a ritual. Things like, you know, uh, uh, say certain words like Shahada, blah, blah, blah. No. Uh, baptism that you accepted, you first of all, is like symbolic to wash in all your previous life. Secondly, the Holy Spirit will be within you. However, if you have no chance, or let us say no choice to be baptized, still you are saved by Jesus. And I will give you an example. Guys, do you remember the story of the person who was next to the Messiah in the cross? Anyone remember? What he, what the Messiah, he said to him, he promised him to be in heaven. He, he was not baptized. He accepted the Messiah as Savior, and he was saved in the moment. So you are saved by accepting the Messiah, but, uh, you know, you cannot. Maybe you live in a Muslim country, and there's nobody there to baptize you. But that will not prevent you from as soon as you can you find a Christian who is a believer You can go you and him alone in the middle of nowhere in a river a lake Nobody knows even in the shower top of your house and he can baptize you in the name of the Father the Son the Holy Spirit and you will receive the Holy Spirit of the Lord and that is the best for you All right, so uh, the first step is to accept the Messiah and this is the most important step and then after that, you have to live the life which the Messiah he asked you for. Uh, because remember, you know, the Muslims they lie about Christianity. They say the Christians they say that Jesus he paid for their sin, and they make it look like, oh, Jesus he died because of uh, my sin, so I can do all sins I wish. That's not true. That is Islamic. That is Islamic. That's why we said Jesus said not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord will enter the kingdom of my father but the one who do what his will and what his will stay away from this and that and that and that and that and that so you can say Christ is my Lord you can wear a cross you can call yourself a Christian prince but doesn't mean you're a Christian yet unless you follow what I say in Islam it's a different story it's based on faith and stupidity as you see here in front of us a child who is born in a Muslim family and he died and Aisha she thought he will be a bird in paradise because he commit no sin neither he reached the age of sin Muhammad is still he saying or he claim that this, that this child might go to hell for Allah he wrote his destiny before his creation actually the one who have license for sin is Islam you know in Islam if you go you commit all sin you go and touch the black stone and you kiss it which is a pagan practice and then by kissing the black stone and touching the Yemeni corner Allah will forgive your sin I mean what kind of cult our sin can be forgiven by touching stones you know what I mean What kind of God? This is a pagan religion. This is a pure pagan religion. Black stone, a holy stone, touching stones, kissing stones. The prophet kisses stone. We ask the Muslim, why the prophet he kisses stone? They say because it's holy. And why it's holy? They say because the prophet he kissed it. A smart Muslim who work harder, he says, because it was in heaven. So what? A stone was in heaven? There's millions of rocks fell down from the sky every day. 
uh, Muhammad he claimed that there's two corners in the Kaaba. And if you touch them, those two corners, they forgive your sin. They erase your sin. Abu Abdul Rahman, I said, oh, why do you, I, I, I do only see you touching those two corners. He said, I heard the messenger of Allah say, touching them erases sin. This is a pure pagan religion. And the black stone was nothing but a vagina. It's a vagina. Fertility God. Women they used to go and put their you know their their hand, uh, uh, you know, ar around uh, inside inside the black stone when they have like their period, and then they, uh, you know, they they place it inside the black stone, and this is supposedly how they ask God for uh, uh, for. Uh, hold on, guys. I have. Uh, give me a second. Uh, I have Jibril. He brought delivery for me, so I have to check it out. <clears throat> okay, Jibril. Uh, he just uh, delivered for me Quran. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. But I'm not sure this is the Quran of who? This is the Quran of Muhammad. This is the Quran of Uthman. This is the Quran of Hafsa. This is the Quran of Aisha. Allah knows best. All right. So if we go to the Quran, you know. We will see the Quran saying too many things about uh, how you can receive forgiveness. Those who do good deeds and blah blah blah. I mean, the Quran is a stupid religion. How you say the one who good deeds, Allah forgive his sin, and then we find that this is all his destiny. I mean, this is stupid. As an example, look at this hadith. <coughs> uh, According to Muhammad, and this is Sahih, this is Sahih al Bukhari. And let me show you the reference so Muslim will not say the Shish Kebab, uh, you know, weak, the falafel, you know them, you know. This is Sahih al Bukhari. Muhammad he claimed that a person who do the deeds of people of hellfire, he keep doing them until there is a distance of one arm between him and hellfire. And then what is written by Allah will take over, proceed, and then he does the deed of paradise and he enter paradise. <laughs> so what the point? What what the point of this cult? So what is written by Allah will proceed. It doesn't matter what you do in your lifetime. Do you see it? And then Muhammad he open he, he mentioned the opposite scenario. A man he may do the deeds of people of paradise. Uh, this is Shabir Ali. That's a Shabir, Shabir Ali. Shabir Ali is doing the deeds of people of paradise. Till there's only one cubit between him and paradise. He's almost there. Huh? Almost his beard is entering the door of paradise, brother. And then what Allah written is the proceed. And then he does the deed of fire. He enter fire. I mean, this is the most stupid cult ever. So why I want to pray? Why I want to convert? If I am going to go to hell at, by, by Allah decision, which a pre-made decision for me anyway. You know what I mean? What kind of cult this cult is? So I do all the work all my life praying to Muhammad, God, kissing the black stone, the stinky stone, pushing my head inside. The guy before me is coming from God knows where. His hand was in his ass. Now it's in his lips. And now he's touching the stone. And now I kiss the stone. And God knows how many germs go inside my mouth. All of this to go for nothing. I spend my saving. I am an, a poor Indian guy. I mean, you guys, an Indian person or a Muslim from Nepal who his lifetime saving is not even a thousand dollars. 
go to Nepal and see how poor they are to go to Hajj he have to spend his lifetime saving maybe the lifetime saving of the whole family so the guy he go and kiss the stone blah 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 and shave his head and go in blah, oh, and he might even die there and then all of this it says at the end that what is written by Allah will take over So look what will happen. We have a guy, he have no witness for his Quran. He came 600 years after Jesus. He never met Jesus. He yet he went a witness to Jesus that Jesus was not crucified. <laughs> a guy who came thousands of years after Moses and Aaron. He went a witness to Aaron and, 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 and Moses. He went a witness to Abraham, but he never met them, he never saw them, and he never was in their time, and he don't even speak the language. One guy, no single witness. You see in Islam, if you have a case of adultery, you have to bring four witnesses. I mean, look at this. A case of adultery, you need four witnesses. Muhammad is bringing us God without witnesses. And look, the Quran says <clears throat> that Allah, he required from a prophet to do a testing. What is the testing? Chapter 3, verse number 183. <coughs> that no prophet should be accepted to be a prophet unless he make an offering and Allah, he sent fire from the sky to take it, to consume it. Okay? So the Quran approved that in order to know if somebody is a prophet of God or not, you ask him to make an offering, and if God he sent in the front of our eyes, he sent the fire to consume that offer, that's a proof that you are God. And the same story appears in the in the story of who anyone remember? Anyone remember? Who remember? Chapter 5, verse 27. In chapter 5, verse 27. Uh, the two children of Adam, uh, Adam, according to Muslims, uh, his wife uh, uh, Eve, she used to give birth each time to twin brother, twin, one male and one female, and then they marry the twin, uh, like uh, they don't marry the twin to the twin, they marry the twin to the other twin. So, like, let us say I'm born as a twin and I have a sister, her name is uh, uh, Sarah. So they don't marry me to Sarah because she is my twin. They will marry me to other twin from my mother, which Eve. I mean, silly story, right? But this is what this what they say. So when when the two twin they uh, when when they are born and they became old and they want to get married, the two guys they want to marry one sister, fighting over one sister. Why? Because one of the sisters she have a cross eyes. What a funny story. And because she have a cross eyes, the other all the the two they don't want to marry her. So now they have a problem. Allah told uh, Prophet Adam, brother, to uh, ask his children to make a sacrifice, brother. And then the one Allah, he accept him to marry the sister who have no cross eyes is the one who Allah accept his sacrifice. Allahu Akbar. So look, look with me. Tell them, Muhammad, the story of the tale of the two sons of Adam, Abel and Cain. Truthfully, Bil Haq by the truth. I mean, it's funny how the Muslim they use Bil Haq in English. I mean, what the point? Uh, translate. It is uh, uh, connected to a uh, several recite, blah blah blah. And then he says, uh, "Which God?" Uh, the, uh, Allah he asked them how they each offer a sacrifice to God, which is in the case of Abel, it was a ram; in the case of Cain's, it was a green crops; and then it was accepted from the namely the one who is Abel. A fire came down from heaven. So this is consistent with the chapter three, where it says that if you if you if you want to prove to us that you are a prophet, you have to make an offer. This is Allah way. You see, this is Allah way. Allah He chose this way to to show who He approve who. So when they say to Muhammad, okay, we will believe in you if you can make an offering and God send the fire to consume it. The same as happened to Cain and Abel. Muhammad failed. Muhammad, he failed. He could not even do the condition with Allah he put to accept an offering. 
Allah he made a condition that if a person he accept him he reject the other one he you make an offer Allah he send the fire in the front of the eyes of everybody and he will consume it and here you notice by the way the story about Cain and Abel and the, which Muslims cannot answer why Allah he accepted the ram but he did not accept the vegetables I guess Allah is not a veggie Allah is not a vegetarian otherwise Muslim they need to explain to us why Allah from the first man he wanted a ram as sacrifice the Muslim they say that Christianity believe in a bloodshed the fact it's you Muslims he will go even Allah himself he's asking and he accept the bloodshed of a ram not the opposite do you see it do you see it Muslims this is the first man those are the children of Adam which means the first Muslims in the earth Allah he told them to sacrifice blood for him so why you lie and you say that Christianity is teaching a blood sacrifice and then we find the story which is copied from the Bible about Abraham but the Muslim they play with it they say it is Ishmael So Quran to make it simple have no witness no proof full of errors and mistakes and crazy and stuff like sun set in murky water the man have a sperm coming from the backbone uh, 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 <laughs> but actually the most funny one I like is uh, <clears throat> the one about the Star War you know I like the Star War since I was a kid I like to watch those cartoon brother like uh, I used to watch a Sinbad but Sinbad in Arabic, you know. Brother, the proof that Allah is God, brother, is in the front of us. Allah created the lambs, brother, so he can shoot the shaitan if he tried to go, and the human if he tried to go out of the earth. And brother, this is proven to be true. Allah he showed the shaitan by the stars Muhammad he wanted to see I mean he want to Muhammad is a scientist Muhammad but is this let us say he is the kind of religious scientist and you know what does that mean he tried to make everything fit with his religion so Muhammad he saw he saw shooting stars he thought those are really stars and he was asking himself why they are what's happening what's happening hmm those genie they are trying to spy at Allah so Allah he showed their ass does it say that in the Quran or I'm lying guys Muslim does it say that he showed them because they are spying at Allah yes the Quran says that let me show you brother Chapter 15, verse number 18. Read with me carefully, brother, about the Star War invasion. And we made the heaven, which means the sky, by the way. Here, this doesn't say heaven. Translation is false. It says the sky. And verily, we made the sky. We have set mansions of the stars. They are talk He's talking about the zodiac uh, <laughs> towers, by the way. It doesn't say mansions. It says zodiac, uh, 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 the zodiac. And then, and we have a bit of file it for the holder. And we have guarded it from every outcast devil. Save. Save who stealeth the hearing. If, 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 if. Main Shaitan KGBCIA is a spying at Allah. So what the story here is saying, Shaitan he tried to spy at Allah. Allah he shoot his ass with a shooting star. And by the way, me myself, brother, I saw a lot of those stories. True story. Those are true story. I'm telling you, I saw it with more eye eyes. I used to sit in the desert, and always I see Allah shooting the asses of Shaitan. You know. Uh, actually, I saw I saw that once in the Marines video of uh, uh, American. It was saying making the same voice too, like. 
And by the way, the Muslim, they say to you, do you know, brother, that the atmosphere is mentioned in the Quran? Really? Yeah, it says that Allah, he protected the sky. But they will not tell you that Allah, he meant the opposite. It is the sky protected, not the earth sky atmosphere protected. <laughs> Which means it's not the atmosphere. It's the opposite. You cannot go out of the zone of the earth. That's what the Quran is saying. So they lie to you about what it's meant. <laughs> Nothing new. Read carefully, Allah making a challenge for mankind. Chapter 55, verse number 33, action. Allah make a challenge for mankind and genie. Oh, company of jinn and mankind. If you have power to betray the regions of the heaven and the earth, penetrate them, but you will not be able to do so without our sanction. And if you try to penetrate, brother, to go to the moon, Allah will shoot your ass with the blazing fire. Do you see it? Do you see it? I'm not making things up. This is a chapter 55, and this is a brother, 50, verse number 33. Well, as I know, brother, the first one who went to the moon, it was the communist. It's not even the Christians. I mean the, the system the regime so Allah he give them the sanctions that are the communist what echo there's an echo in my microphone guys there's an echo in my microphone if I have that's mean I have a genie Let me take the echo from my microphone. Let me use some. Uh, let me read Quran. Shankahu, Chakahu, Quran, Kharbatut. I just saw the genie coming out. I don't know if you know the story of a guy. He made a fun of the miswak. The prophet he told the Muslims supposedly to clean their teeth with the miswak, which is a stick, a root stick. They beat the camel with it, and the same stick they beat they, they beat the women with it. It's a wrong, long roots. Uh, and there is a guy, guys, it's a true story. You can search it in, in Google in English. A guy, he made fun of the miswak. Anyone knows what happened to him? Anyone knows what happened? The guy, he said to them, I'm not going to put the miswak in my mouth. I'm going to put it in my anus. And then he like, he put it there. I mean, just for fun. And then guys, do you know what happened to him? Who knows what happened to him? Nobody? Allah made him get a bread net. And he delivered a mice. And then he died. True story. True story. No, after he did put the miswak in his anus, Allah, he made him uh, carry a baby in his belly, and that was a rat. I'm not joking, by the way. I'm, you think I'm joking? You know, I'm not joking. True story. Try it, try it. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, guys. Uh, Quran is just a fast book full of stupid mistakes, as you see. Fictions, false stories, and there's no proof of it. And as you see, I mean, what Muhammad he never thought that time will come and a human being will go out of the zone of the earth He will go to the space so Muhammad he made this verse challenging mankind and genie to go out of the earth but you cannot even if you try Allah will shoot your ass here we go the American the Russian soon maybe the Indian and Allah did not shoot the ass of anyone don't forget the topic we are proving our topic. This is our topic. Quran have no witnesses, have no proofs except stupidity. And we prove it all over. I'm not going to stay longer, guys. I want to say thank you. I will try to go uh, like later, maybe uh, uh, afternoon or at night, if I have time. And uh, until then, 
I wish you really a good time with your family and your friends and please don't forget to download the videos share it everywhere you can and not only share the link download the video post it in your channel if you speak other languages don't forget please to uh, add the subtitle or translation or etc for that will help those who don't speak English to know the truth and the truth will set them free the truth is our target we are not here fighting the Muslims we are fighting lies of Islam and this is what we are here for lies is our enemies Muslims are not my enemy I am fighting lies and I hope that the Muslim will listen carefully we are trying to save you from such a funny cult stupid cult we are not against you my friend thank you very much for being here may the Lord bless you and until we see you soon again Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you bye-bye